one great thing that I think if you're using a Linux OS or any other Unix based operating system is knowing how to use the terminal. And of course, you, being able to use the terminal makes you way more proficient, you know, in everything. And not only that, you, you look cool as well, but it's a very useful tool to have for big tasks or even small tasks. And just makes life easier. But one thing I always get asked is, how do I learn how to use the terminal? Or how do I learn how to use the commands or this specific command? And although I don't have one definitive solution or one definitive answer, I do have a pretty good answer that will probably answer, or not answer, but apply to most people's problems. And that is man pages. And if you if you don't know about man pages, first thing, this is going to be your lifesaver if you need help because this will open a whole new world of documentation. It's great. But yeah, man pages are basically just short, short little pieces of uh, documentation that basically tell you all the, all the ins and outs, or most of the ins and outs of a program, and even how to use it to some degree. But I'll go, go ahead and show you. So uh, let's just say I want to go ahead and use a command. Let's just say calendar and or cal for short and if i do that you'll see i'll print out the month and the day the usual but if i want to know how to use that command uh more if i want to extend it a bit more or be able to use it to a greater degree i could do cal dash dash help and as you can see it'll pull up the little little help page with not a lot of information, but uh, it's enough. It'll, it'll get you there. Uh, but stuff like how to use it, description, options, and at the very bottom, you actually see something on here. It says, for more details, see cow, for, for, uh, cow parentheses one. And it's not asking you to type in cow parentheses one. It's saying, hey, view the first man page for cow. And so I'm going to do just that. And to do that, you can just type in man for the man command, and then give it the argument of the program's man page that you want to view. And for that, I'm going to do man cal, and it will pull up the man page for the command cal. And oh, one great thing I should also note is that it also supports vim keys. So you can do j for down, k for up, capital G for the bottom of the page, lowercase g for the top of the page, etc, etc. But <laughs> that's besides the point, but uh, it, as you can see, it already gives you a lot more documentation than that little help page we just got. But most man pages have the same layout in general. Usually the name at the top, short synopsis, description, some command line arguments, uh, parameters, and a variation of stuff at the bottom. But that's a general way of a man page. In fact, I'm going to actually show you another one. We do man ls, and this is the command ls. And you can see it has pretty much the same layout, maybe a little bit different, but uh, a lot of arguments, to be honest. It's a lot, but yeah, it has about around the general, same general layout. A um, few things here and there, like it shows the author this time, we to report bugs, copyright, other things. Um, and so that's the basics of man pages. Um, if you want to actually view what man pages are available on your system, you can actually do man k, and this will search for a man page with the associated string. In this case, I could just do period for to say I want to view all the man pages, and it'll spit out all the man pages that are on your system. Uh, true. Decent amount, as you can see. Of course, I can go ahead and go ahead and pipe this into less and just look and see what man pages are available. But most self-respecting terminal programs will have man pages. If they don't, then either it's not a very good terminal program or you're not using a terminal program at all. So keep that in mind. But 
yeah, that, those are main page, those are main pages. Uh, very useful. If you need help in the Linux terminal, go ahead and use those. Otherwise, I'll see you whenever.